Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 81 to 82. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blurb 50% of each episode, so if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, I do I am currently recording all of these reads for the month of October. If you guys do want to have early access and not deal with the censorship and cat logo blurs, they're all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. I have what you need to prove Sagi's guilt in Chow's case. <sighs> huh? Purple Hyacinth, episode 81. Room 16. Officer, it's a pleasure to see you. I didn't know if you would come. This was your plan. It was risky to leave my house. It was so necessary that you absolutely had to drag me here. I hope you didn't make me cross a whole 11th district for nothing. Uh, why? Of course not. Please step inside my humble abode. Would you like some refreshments? Water? Tea? Maybe? Coffee. Black. A ga gallon, please. <laughs> sure, but I think the news I have for you will be enough to keep you awake. We should make this quick. I have to go back before they notice I'm gone. So earlier today, you said you found a witness? After hearing about your little misadventures with our good friend Sake, I couldn't resist the temptation to look into Chow's case file. The way Sake warmed out of suspicion was actually quite clever. Right after the poker game, he visited the, his neighbor to have a beer with him, purposefully to be seen at home that night. Then he snuck out of his apartment to murder Chow and went straight to Maria's after to hide the murder weapon. Correct. I read the transcripts, too. You really did lose it, officer. And your hair trigger temper hasn't changed much, much since. Uh, yeah. But with an ability like yours, it would have driven anyone to the edge. Still not an excuse to slam people into walls, though. Yeah, it is not. I should know. Anyway, I've investigated Sake's the last few days for information on his past jobs. Turns out he was quite the rec he has turns out he has quite the record and wasn't always the most stealthy hitman out there. Whenever there was an, a witness, he'd kill them too, or at least threaten to do so. Sounds like him. In the file, I found the names of all the people brought in for interrogation. The woman living right beside the crime scene. You never met her because of your little outbursts. She swore up and down she hadn't seen anything, so I paid her a little visit. You know, just to check in, her version of tale would still be the same. Now that Sake's death is all over the papers. And? What did she say? She used to live right next to the alley where Sake murdered Chow. She witnessed everything from her window, but Sake noticed. And before she could tell anything to the cops over the phone, he was pointing a knife to her throat. She confessed to you? <laughs> She's ready to speak in court. What? what? And obviously, I, uh, I've asked her to pretend she never saw me. She just spontaneously decided to come clean. Kieran, that, that's incredible. If she's willing to change her statement, 
the case will be reopened. <sighs> Why? Why are you doing this? No particular reason. He's lying. I can help you, but for this to work, you'll have to be honest about what happened between you and Sake. I will. Here's your coffee. Why is it blurry? Their hands are touching. I don't know if that's a good thing or it's a bad thing. Uh, huh? Her vision when she touches hand is that. Boom. Uh, oh, she's touching her neck because she remembers that. Monster. <clears throat> so, uh, when we went to the circus, you mentioned having had a little chat with Sake a few days before. What did, what exactly did he tell you? We didn't talk about Chow's case then, but the night we infiltrated the restaurant, I overheard him telling Belladonna about it. I drugged the ex-wife, got her prints on the knife, and hid it in her bedroom after I was done. Hmm, I see. That's gonna be hard to prove now that he's dead. Even if the witness is willing to change her statement, we'll also need evidence to back it up. When I saved Sake's last year, I found a bottle of a black market sedative on him, Gentle Night, strong enough to put a horse to sleep. Yeah, I think I know that one. Would have been knocked Maria out before she even noticed a change in her stew seasoning. I wasn't able to submit it as evidence last year, but if Sake really has a record, Maybe we can find another case, another find other cases where he used to. Oh my gosh! Let me return, restart that. Maybe we can find other cases where he used the same M.O. and try to establish a correlation. It still wouldn't be enough, but it'll be a start. <laughs> it's your time to shine, detective. Whew. Hopefully this is not too loud. Right, let's go. Yes, just like the Allendale train tra station tragedy. Nobody could have known they would strike there. I, for one, was shocked. He's part of the Phantom Scythe! A year ago. Hopefully that's not too loud, but I'm gonna lower on my side a little bit. Okay, making sure everything's good. A year ago, oh, I messed up. Why does this rage take over me so easily? Hand me your IU badge. It wasn't me, I'm being framed. I swear I'm innocent. I lost my authority to change anything. I'm sorry, Maria. Why did I come here? Hey, I'm the Officer Sinclair. I helped working on Chow's case. I didn't kill him. I know we separated, but I still loved him. I can't leave our daughter all alone outside. You're the only one who believed me. I don't know why or how, but you are the only one who knew. Right. The next train will leave at 1045. The years to come will be the brightest Artilus has ever known. 
that I was innocent. You're the only one who can help me. Please, help. Maria, I will do my best. Bang! Uh. Purple Hyacinth, Episode 82 It's your time to shine, Detective. A few days later, her version of the story fits what we already have. Sake would have had the time to break into her apartment and leave before we reached the crime scene. It wouldn't be the first time a witness has wanted to change their deposition once a killer is dead. Except we already locked a killer behind bars. We don't have anything else to prove Sake's guilt here. It's one woman's word against the evidence. Maria could have been framed. That wouldn't be a first either. It's pretty simple, actually. He could have drugged her with the black market sedative Lauren found on him last year. And how do you intend to present this to the court? They won't revisit their sentence based on such flimsy speculation. If you take a look at this, you might change your mind. There are other cases that could, have be, could be linked to this one. What the hell is this, Sinclair? Last time I checked, you were still on suspi suspicion. Suspension? Suspension. You're not a detective. You're actually a suspect in this man's murder. What tells me you didn't bribe the poor woman to help your case? So, Captain Herman. I'm not trying to overstep the boundaries of my sus suspension. You may dislike me because I let personal feelings affect my duty a year ago, and you're right. I have messed up. But this isn't about me, and this isn't about you. An innocent woman has been rotten in the tower for over a year. And last time I checked, it was our duty to uphold justice in this city. You can't redefine justice and bend the rules however you want. <sighs> Captain Herman, if I may interject, Lauren is clever and perceptive and has never given you a reason to doubt her morals. Her hypothesis has never been completely improbable and the witness's confession just now changes everything. I've looked at the file she compiled on Sake and she got enough evidence to open an investigation. We cannot just discard her work. And I strongly believe she might be right. <laughs> her smile. Whether what this woman says is true or not, it is our duty to re-examine the case and admit our mistakes if there were any. Fine. You have my authorization to proceed with the appeal. Detective March and Detective Cooper will be in charge of the case. Sinclair will be able to participate as a consultant due to her knowledge of the case. But nothing more. Get back to your t desk. Oh. <laughs> I thought he'll never agree. The battle is far from won, but this is such a relief. Thank you for stepping in for me. You've done all the work, Sinclair, and it's impressive. Cooper and I will not let it go to waste. You should probably rest, though. Bet you haven't slept much these last few days. I'll be going home. The New Year's party is tonight, but I assume I'm not invited. No, no. It's not fair of him to do that to you. If anyone asks, you have my permission. What is Herman going to say about that? I'll deal with him. I'm getting good at it anyways. 
I probably, I should probably ask for a raise. <laughs> you should, and thank you. That's very kind of you. Not sure it counts as rest, though. Better than working or worrying all night. I'll see you there, then. Yes, might as well enjoy life before gel. S and E bar. Oh. The futures, although it appears solid, the tower has been built on unstable mistruths and delusions. The world, as you know, will come crashing down before you, stricken by the lightning, stricken by the lightning bolt of truth. There is no escape from this destruction. I've never believed in that stuff. They were apostles. But she was unnervingly right that night. And that someone around you has or will stab you in the back. Doesn't sound like anything good. Open your eyes, Lauren. <sighs> If I was blind to this, what else am I failing to see? You may think your enemies are hidden in the shadows. Uh, huh? Uh, what am I doing? I can't let that get to my head. Go, <gasps> huh? Oh, uh, Kim, let me, let me go. Tonight is the night I'm going to beat Lucas at his blackmailing game. But you're the one he gets the most dirt on every year. Yeah, this is going to be the opposite of restful. Uh, Mr. White is here. Let's go in. Uh, wait, Kieran's also invited? Mmm, this is going to be a very interesting party. Uh, sorry guys, I kind of stuttered and I try to like read through it for like whatever whoever's talking, but I ended up messing up and had to go back and like reread it in their tone or like with the correct word and, or pronunciation. But oh my gosh, they're invited to this party. Of course, we all know that Lauren is not was not invited to this, but she still went because everyone else kind of like pretty much invited her and want her to be there. So it's going to be awkward. I wonder what's going to happen. But it's so weird that the new guy, which is Kieran for this team or like this whole department was invited, but not Lauren. Like that's so messed up. That's so shady. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments. <sighs> I really wish people like pick up on this read. It's one of my lowest views, but it's such a good read. It got so much better. But alright guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!